wrong thing. Uh, so here's the here's the STM32 that goes in here. Um, here is the smaller F4 board. So here are the small uh, 0201 capacitors or 0105. Uh, so those two of those you'll have to remove and then that'll be fine. And you can see there's JTAG on here. Uh, you could try the UART bootloaders. So the cool thing about the STM32s is usually uh, if you boot them, and also you can see here's the boot uh, here's the boot pins. So this is like uh, quote unquote how you get into the bootloader is you flip these switches. So the advantage is, and on, on here it's like uh, you set them here, uh, but here they have switches. So the advantage, the cool thing about that is uh, so the cool thing about the STM32 is if you do want to upgrade it via UART, you can use any UART. So this thing has like eight UARTs. You can use whatever UART interface you want. On the LPCs, it's always a specific uh, UART interface that you have to use. On the STM32s, they don't actually limit you. Uh, so yeah, so here's, I mean, obviously we're just going to stick this guy into the socket. Um, the one thing that I remember with the STM32s, just from prior experiences, I think so if you look like there's the indentation like the dimple is up there uh, so uh, let's check I think that means that we actually need to insert it like this um, but let's let's check let's check uh, so I, I would yeah so uh, here I'll use that for chat uh, so I would check let's check the wave share document wave share uh stm32 qfp 64 let's take a look at their website because they might actually uh they might actually have a so here's the here's what i'm looking at they might actually have a um they might actually show you how to insert something into here that's the socket 